West 2 found a long list of liens filed against SeaWorld properties since April of this year, one month after the park announced it was shutting down because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Most of those liens from construction companies. More than $921,000 owed to United Electrical Contractors out of Mount Dora for work done on the Clydesdale barn at SeaWorld. More than $2 million owed to the Baltimore manufacturer of SeaWorld Orlando's upcoming steel roller coaster Icebreaker. SeaWorld has not announced when that roller coaster will be opening yet and 642,000 owed to a company from Canada that designed and installed a custom water slide at Aquatica. Bills also seem to be piling up for work at other SeaWorld properties, like Bush Gardens, where a new attraction called Iron Gwazi was being tested before parks shut down. A public record search shows a couple of liens filed against Disney since April as well. Almost $1.2 million owed to New Horizon Construction Services out of Groveland, Florida, for renovations done on Disney's Saratoga Springs Resort. And more than 58000 owed to a Tampa company for heating, ventilating, and air conditioning services at the same home. Hotel. SeaWorld responded to Wesh's request for comment with a statement that reads in part, As we reopen our parks and begin to generate revenue again, we are working with our vendors to complete all outstanding payments. We've reached out to Disney for comment and are waiting to hear back. Sonic Adange, Wesh 2 News.